Hello friends, how do organisms reproduce? There are mainly two types, sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction. In sexual reproduction also, especially, how does the reproduction occurs? That is important. In which female reproductive system is the most important site for the fertilization. So here in this video, we are going to learn about the female reproductive system. So those who are biology lovers, those who are loving the anatomy, that is human anatomy, stay with this video till end. So you can understand the basic concept about the female reproductive system. Let us begin with it. Here I'm sharing you the screen in which the female reproductive system has been shown. So you can see it in and you will understand in detail. So let us begin with it. That is female reproductive system. You can see there are mainly this part. This is ovary, pair of ovaries, which is the main side of the generation of female eggs, which is useful for the reproduction. Then you can see this is oviduct or it is also called as a fallopian tube. This is uterus. This is cervix and this is vagina. These are the main important part. I'm talking about the basic of female reproductive system here, not in too much detail. This is for the students of class 10th and 11th who want to understand about the basic female reproductive system. The female germ cells or the egg cells are made in the ovaries. Female germ cells are formed in the ovaries. There is a pair of ovaries. From each ovaries, each month, there is one egg cell is released. They are also responsible for the production of some of the hormone, that is female hormones. When a girl is born, the ovaries already contain thousands of immature eggs. This ovary contains thousands of immature eggs which start maturing during the puberty. On reaching the puberty, some of these start maturing. One egg is produced every month by one of the ovaries. The egg is carried from the ovary to the womb through a thin oviduct, which is called fallopian tube. This one, that is oviduct, or it is also called as a fallopian. Both are there. This is one of the ovary. This is another ovary. And this are oviduct, or we can call it fallopian tube. The egg is carried from the ovary to the womb through a thin oviduct or a fallopian tube. This, the two oviduct unite into a elastic bag-like structure known as uterus. This is uterus in which the entire child is staying up till the nine month. It is fully developed then only the delivery of the child occurs. The uterus opens into the vagina through the cervix. This is a part cervix through it. It is opening in the vagina. The sperms enter through the vaginal passage. Through this passage, the germs or germ, uh, we can call it germ cells or we can call sperm is enter. As the sperm has the tiny particles with a tail like structure which gives its mobility. So when it, the sexual reproduction occurs, the sperm will be entered over here and this egg cell will also come over here. So the fertilization will take place inside the uterus. That they travel, which I'm talking about sperm. They travel upwards and reach the oviduct where they may encounter the egg. The fertilized egg, the zygote, get implanted in the lining of the uterus. These are the lining of the uterus in which the fertilized egg will be implanted. So we can say that the fertilized egg that is called zygote gets implanted in the lining of the uterus and start dividing. We have seen in the earlier section that the mother's body is designed to undertake the development of the child. Hence, the uterus prepared itself every month to receive the nurture the growing embryo, the lining thickened and richly supplied with the blood to nourish the growing embryo. But in case if the fertilization does not take place, then this immature egg, or we can say that egg, which is unfertilized along with the blood, which is in this lining to hold the embryo, 
is ruptured and coming out of the vagina that is what we call as the menstruation cycle in the female the embryo get nutrition from the mother's blood with the help of the special tissue called placenta that is what when the fertilization will occurs after that the development of child start inside the uterus at the same time this placenta gives the nutrition from mother's body to the child this 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 is a disc which is embedded in the uterine wall it contain villi on the embryo side of the tissue on the mother side are blood spaces which surrounded the villi this provides a large surface area for the glucose and oxygen to pass from the mother to the embryo that developing embryo will also generate the waste substances which can also remove by the transferring them into the mother's body through the same placenta it means nutrition will also go through the placenta from mother's body to the child and the the excretory product which are generated in the embryo will also remove through the placenta through the mother's blood the development of the child inside the mother's body takes approximately 9 month as we have talked and the child is born as a result of the rhythmic contraction of the muscles in the uterus so the main things we have talked about how does the what is the female reproductive system and how does the fertilization takes place the ovary contain immature eggs at the beginning or we can say when the child the girl is born at the puberty the egg start releasing from the oviduct or we can say from the fallopian tube it comes in the uterus it stays near by the wall of this lining of the uterus at every month one of such egg is released once from this left side uh, ovary then another one will be from the right side ovary and month by month it will come over here when the sexual reproduction when the sexual intercourse occurs at the same time the sperm release through the penis and it moves the sperm cell because sperm cell has the tail for the mobility so it move and it comes in the uterus and it fertilizes there are millions of such sperm entered but out of that only one sperm can take advantage to fertilize with the egg cell and when it will fertilize it will remaining in this lining in the uterus and it will completely grow but in case if this egg will not been fertilized means the reproduction will not occur at the same time this lining is filled with the blood to hold the embryo it means every month it get it get prepared for the fertilization and this this what we say germ cell which is released from the ovary that is not fertilized means infertilized egg as well as the blood of this lining will be released through the vagina if it is unfertilized and such cycle occurs at every month and such cycle where the along with the blood this germ cell is released through the uterus through the vagina that is what we call as a menstruation cycle in the female so this is all about the female reproductive system i hope in basic about this you have already understand and for furthermore we can talk in detail later on but this is all about very basic things about the female reproductive system i hope you understand share with your friends so they can also understand and those biology lovers can add their comment that if they have any question regarding this or any confusion they can ask me in the comment section thank you so much